Hello there, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Neeraman. In this session, I'll be doing Elliott wave analysis for gold. I'll be looking at possible wave projections and possible targets for the same. So before moving any further, let's have a look at what I discussed in the last video. So in the last video, gold was trading around uh, 1221.40, and my view was that it will form a leg down for wave five, and after that, it should break this wave four resistance zone. And once it breaks that wave for resistance zone, we should be having an impulse upside. And my count was this as 1, 2 and 1 followed by a flat type of correction as ABC. So that was my view in the last video and my bias was bullish. Let's have a look at how market has proceeded. So as you can see over here, this is the 4 hour chart that this wave for resistance level was eventually broken. And the market did proceed as an impulse in the upward direction. So things are going as expected at least so far. And uh, before discussing this part in a little bit more detail, I'll just have a look at the complete count because I don't know how many of you are new viewers and how many have you following me for the last few videos. So, so right now on screen I have the photo chart and uh, we have the 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 up for a leading diagonal as wave 1 and uh, ABC X ABC down for wave 2 and after that uh, we have this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 structure up for a uh, wave 1 of lower degree which is the circled blue wave 1 and after that uh, we have this uh, 3 3 5 kind of structure 3 3 5 1 2 3 4 5 kind of structure which is basically a flat structure this is the wave A, wave B and wave C of the flat completing the wave circle to blue that is wave 2 over here. That means we should have a new trend coming up from this point on which is this level of uh, 1205 something. So that's the basically the complete picture and uh, since uh, we have the 1 and the 2 and then again the 1 and the 2 which is this one two followed by another one two complete over here that means we are starting we are in the starting legs of uh, wave three so we should be going up for the circled wave three after that we will complete this uh, red wave three so basically we should see a bit of upside from now on and this is the main hypo that i have the other view or the alternate view would be that uh, this was the circled wave one up but this was a a leg down followed by another a up of a lower degree of course and then a b down and this is a c up this will complete the b and should have one two three four five down for the c so that would mean that we are in a flat correction in which the wave b itself is a flat let me explain that uh, in the rough area over here so this is the circled one and this would be our A and this would be wave B progressing as a flat so this would be A B and 1 2 3 4 5 for C that would complete wave B over here which is this place and uh, this whole structure as you can see will have 3 3 and five kind of structure over here and after that uh, we should have another leg down of one two three four five as c so that is just another possibility which says that we sh we can see a leg down again before the resumption of the uptrend and uh, in that case uh, we will know that by the correction that we will see in this impulse right now it does not look to be the case that's playing out uh, definitely not but that's just one possibility that might somehow play out so i just thought i'd rather discuss it and uh, then validation line of course is this uh, wave too low which is at uh, 1194.59 and uh, this is in validation line because uh, wave 2 has completed over here so a new leg up has started after that and hence this is the starting point of the next movement up so it should not be retraced more than 100% so that is the invalidation line over here let's have a look at this structure in a little bit of more detail over here let's go to the 
वन आर चार्ट So as on the one hour chart, you can see that uh, we have this uh, wave one followed by two, and wave three has one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, the fourth wave have uh, taken it as a double zigzag, and the fifth wave is still progressing as a one, two, three, fourth as a triangle, and the fifth leg one, two, three, four, five. I'm kind of not sure if this uh, fifth is completed over here or we'll have one more leg up, and uh, that's why I am I have not labeled it this five. Either here or here, so that's uh, that remains to be seen. Where will this fifth leg complete? If it has already completed over here, then this would be a one followed by a two pull, uh, pullback of some kind. But uh, I'll just uh, wait a little bit and watch how this market progresses from here on. So that's uh, basically that. And after this uh, fifth leg is complete, either here or here, let's say it completes at twelve seventy five or something. so after that we should see a wave to correction down and the, when the wave to correction down will come this lower trend line will be broken and generally the target for wave to correction is the 50 60% retracement and uh, let's just uh, assume that uh, the wave 5 completes around 1275 then in that case uh, we will have the 50 60% retracement zone coming around somewhere in this range of uh, 12:30 to 12:40 so this will be our probable zone for the correction after this fifth leg is complete and after this uh, wave 2 completes then we should resume the uptrend if this uh, analysis is correct of course but in either case uh, we will wait for the break of this lower trend line to see that the wave 2 is progressing and that is all about uh, this chart i think yes that's about it and if you like the video definitely hit the like button and subscribe and definitely share it so i get more views on the video and if you want to learn more you can enroll in my video course links are present in the description you can also get an entry to my private group in which i discuss my live trades and analysis etc etc on gold crude etc so uh, details for all those are in the description and uh, that's about it and i'll see you in the next one thank you